we get there. People already came back from the plane. They're already walking in. These guys are building the parachutes to fit into the backpack. And it's like, it's legit now we're there. Yeah. And I think we use the bathroom. We go back outside and then she wanted to get water. And I look up, I see somebody already like falling, like skydiving, parachuting at least. Not oh, free really? falling because I can't yeah. see that far. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the JNL Podcast. We are finally, <laughs> finally. We are back. We are back. What's so funny? Um, people might not even be able to see how we're speaking right now. Yeah, honestly, yeah. you're just going to hear us, especially yeah. on the black hoodie. You can't yeah. see me. But this is what we've created for the past little six months. Almost a year. No, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Almost a year. Um, you know, it sounds better. But this is a lot of fucking time, and I think we finally did it perfectly. I Even, think it looks good. Maybe it's missing a few touches, but it, it'll come. Yeah. I think it looks amazing right now. But it sounds the same? Yeah. You can talk. It's okay. <laughs> we, we, got our, we got our producer in the I background. Know, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you can say something. He's going to hear you. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I mean, Novia is in the background, so that's she's helping out. Yeah. So nervous. It's not a movie. <laughs> you can't talk during a movie. No, honestly, it. What happened? I feel like Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Nice. You're gonna make fun of me yesterday the for it. The great. Th I feel like the great thing about this is now, when guests do come, we can have like even our friends. Like Julie's here right now. This shit's a little live podcast now. Yeah, it looks. You only can see from one angle. We're not using three angles today. We're just going to give you one because we're still just, learning in the process. Yeah. But it does look better. It looks better with one angle. But yeah, it looks way more amazing. You just got to see it. Once you guys are here, you'll probably like it a lot more. I mean, it's kind of ugly there, but, you know, it's okay. With the silicone on the chair, <laughs> the gun itself. But. No, there's still a lot of, like, little touches that we have to do. But Yeah, keep off. $50. Yeah. <laughs> Best investment in the world. Nobody knows that. That's there. <laughs> and a piece of crap. Yeah. <laughs> laying there. But no, I feel, I'm excited. I'm finally happy it's over with. I remember all the days that we would bring your dad, Julie's dad. What happened? <laughs> how are you going to do the face and then you're a producer right now? How are you going to do the face? What happened? Nothing. Something bad? No, you should put that on the table. The grass? Wow. I don't know. We'll do that later. Yeah. I think, but yeah, like I said, it felt like a year, honestly, in my head. I don't know how you guys are saying six months, but it felt very long. And I remember the days, like, asking Julie's dad and figuring it out. And it was such a long process, and it was a hard process. And then things just happened, kept, kept getting pushed back and pushed back. I remember recording 10 we, videos. We recorded like in eight. August. Eight or ten videos in August, and our plan was to finish by my Two birthday, months. yeah, which and is October 4th. And we are in April, we are in April. We've been recording in my living room for the longest, fucking yeah. It didn't feel that long though, recording in your living it room, it didn't, it though. felt like it was a couple like a month, yes, let's say. But yeah, it really wasn't that bad, but honestly, I'm excited, like just comfortable being here and finally revealing everything. What I did say about it is, I feel like this is the like this, what you see is like that we matured. I feel like this looks really mature. For yeah, me. it looks a lot better than the room, the table. Thankfully, your parents allowed us to come in the garage, which makes it a lot easier to do everything. Like there's so much space here. Yeah. I didn't think that camera would be that far back, but you know what can we do? It's it's because we have a lot of shit going on. Yeah, but how do you how do you feel about the whole process? I remember everything just going. We were we, Home Depot was our second home as well. Literally. I hate it. It made me, like, going to Miami, I had the same hate towards Miami as well as Home Depot. I hated up showing in the same aisle over and over where silicone is and tape and all this. The one thing I could say about it is, though, like, that we took so long on this is because we found love for something else that we do. That is true. And we found a different journey in two different spaces that we, that we, that were low. 100 percent that yeah. we're gonna try to, to explore into it now at this point yeah for sure because hopefully we could take this podcast on the road sooner or later true 100 percent. we did fall in love with something i just realized because october was our first release ever yeah basically or before that but no yeah i'm so excited it looks amazing a lot of money a lot of hard work a lot of hours thanks to everybody thanks to julie thanks to Julie's thank you dad. kids 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank you to your father as well. I remember sending him the text with everything and he said, thank you, Lucas. <laughs> I love I love the energy right there. I told you I texted him yeah, after. Yeah, thank you to everybody. Person that did the AC, the person we did the flooring ourselves. Yeah. Thank you to us. Thank you just to everybody. I can't even you think You don't of, understand like, but this, like sh this shit was cement. Like, yeah. And like, you, we don't understand either that her dad literally did everything. Yeah. Like he put these lights, he put the, yeah. uh, the outlets on the walls. We have six outlets and like, yeah. it just makes, like we're so thankful that we have everybody that can help. And this grass came along with a longtime family friend. Literally out of nowhere. The out LED nowhere. light. Everybody. So we're very appreciative towards everyone and so thankful that everyone that helped us because without, without anybody like that or any of you guys that helped, it would really like, I don't think we'd be able to do this ourselves. I don't know. And we would have to just like, yeah, it would just, in the long run, we did save a lot of money. But m me and Lucas, when we first started speaking about it, it was like we could put up we could put up around like eight grand and just finish the shit in a month. And uh, but that's just yeah, it was just like, was it worth? Yeah, was it worth Cause it? Because the AC was the most expensive thing. In the like, bro, yeah. it, was like, it was like eight grand. Yeah, eight and you grand. wanted to pay monthly, and I was like, bro, I cannot like, no way, I'm about to sit here paying monthly for a thing right there. Everything happened for everything. Yeah, happened, everything lined up. I don't know how it did, but we did fucking did it honestly. But yeah, like I said, I don't want to keep thinking, but I feel like we've been dragging it on. Thank you to everybody, honestly. Like I said, thank you again, Julie. Tell your dad big thank you from the bottom of our hearts. It's probably the most thankful thing he could have ever, the most thankful we've ever been for anything. Yeah. He's done so much for us, and I don't think he understood. He probably does understand that because you know he took a have couple you days him? off. Did he show him like a picture? No. No. Yeah. So he just he just knows that he put up the walls. He did. Yeah. He, he did what he had to do, and he doesn't know the rest after that. Yeah. Shout out to the guy yeah. at the AC unit. Shout out to everybody. Because it really took a lot. Like, we were here. I remember you basically cut open my finger as well. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you remember that? I swear to God, I almost fainted. Yeah, I know he did, yeah. You know, I literally was losing, like, because I was just looking at it, and I don't know why. I just started losing myself for a second. Blood, sweats, and tears, literally. No, literally. And then going in the fucking <laughs> attic, think, the yeah. ceiling, bro. That was the worst thing. I was cooking in there. It was a sauna. You got that shit done, though. Yeah, um, I was almost busting my ass doing this shit. <laughs> and the paint on the yeah. floor. There's a lot of memories, a lot of photos, a lot of videos. But yeah, nonetheless, thank you to everybody. Like I said, couldn't have done it without you guys. And we're just excited to be here finally. I'm just excited. We're fucking getting guests back. That's yeah, that's true. true. That's the most. It's like a man cave. Like finally we have our own home. And thank you to your parents for allowing us to Obviously, more electricity, the LED yeah. light, the lights, the outlets, taking up their garage. Your car doesn't go in here, go in here more. The packaging yeah. for rest in peace, all the people there. <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> all right. Enough thank you. Enough. Yeah, yeah. Enough. Right. But yeah, I wanted to start off the video. Basically, like, I wanted to get into it. Me and Minovia went fucking skydiving for the first time ever. I, I fucking forgot about that. Yeah. I totally forgot. That, about that. was the craziest let's, 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 let's explain to me your story from the fucking jump bro like okay so it was christmas day and all right <laughs> no that's what it was okay. literally yeah that's, okay. i mean it's four yeah, months yeah, ago yeah, okay. christmas day i open up a gift it's a purple note and then i'm reading and i just see like two like tickets to like skydiving and my mom is just like laughing over there. I'm just like, oh fuck, now I have to do it. Yeah. Cause we've always spoke about it. Julie always wanted to do it for her 18th birthday. But I remember seeing a video like near your birthday, something like that. 18 year old girl skydiving for her birthday, passed away from skydiving. Yeah. So that traumatized me for like at least two years or a good year. Cause I was always thinking about that. Whenever skydiving was brought up into the equation. But then when my mom finally like, uh, just bought it for us because then now we have a set time and date that we had to do it by let's say we were supposed to be done by april right sometime around this month so we had a set time to do it and then we're like fuck it we finally were you so say. scared leading well, up to this whole the whole process i know it didn't know it didn't because julie wanted it she yeah, i pause that she no, but she was definitely scared still she was more scared than me i'd say <laughs> speak so you don't think so really okay so let me clarify i think we were both we just didn't realize until it came towards like the last week and then we planned it on our anniversary mm. so it was just much easier yeah we made four years everybody you mm. want to congratulate to that thank you guys thank you guys i hate you the worst i hate you just don't even talk to me but yeah so on our anniversary 
and I don't think it really hit us, hit us until we got there. And we're still there, we're setting up. So like I said, we're driving there. Nothing really hits us yet, we're just going. We're like, okay, we stop at Dunkin' Donuts to get some breakfast, we're hungry. Yeah. We get there. People already came back from the plane, they're already walking in. These guys are building the parachutes to fit into the backpack. And it's like, it's legit now, we're there. Yeah. And I think we use the bathroom, we go back outside. And then she wanted to get water, and I look up, I see somebody already like falling, like skydiving, parachuting at least, not oh, free really? falling because I can't yeah. see that far. And I'm like, yo, look, like this is what we're about to do, and yeah, we just started getting pumped for that. What was cool is that we picked three songs for the video, so mm -hmm. like to make it look cooler. So I ended up picking Empire State of Mind, Stronger, and I know the song, I'm on top of the world, eh? You know that I song? Don't know that song yeah, it was the last song, but yeah, I had to put the New York and Stronger, and then she also did Stronger. I don't know the other two. I don't. What did you do? I did. Uh, Feel free to talk, but it's okay. One Direction, Live While We're Young. Live While We're Young, okay. Then, um, I don't Ellie know. Carson, oh yeah, mm -hmm. that one. But like those three songs are in order, like going up, free falling, and then like parachuting, like gliding all the way down. When you guys are up there, is any like when you guys realize that you guys are about to jump off? Is there any thought in your head that you're like? This could go really wrong. Like, no, not at all. Like, this could go wrong not at, at, any, all. at any point. Not at all. Zero chances. I think when we got on the plane, like, yeah, it made us a lot more anxious because we're like, okay, this guy is literally on my ass with his penis and yeah. we're in the air. And, yeah, like, it, that's when it re like, okay, reality so, yeah, that's another in. question. So, that, so they, the person is touching your ass, basically, no, right? For sure. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. She, so. had, she had pee pee on her butt, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I fucked okay. him up after. <laughs> okay. JK, JK. I can't do Cause that. Because I don't know, like, people, it does look like you're really close, but who knows if it's really No, no, yeah, like yeah. they're literally on top of you. Yeah, but, yeah, but like that's how you sit in the plane because they have to hook to you, otherwise. Uh huh, yeah. Yeah, but that's it. So she got on the plane first. We have the photos of it. I'll probably try to include it. Mm -hmm. So as she's walking, um, she's walking with the person, some lady's taking photos because that's what she does. And then the guy tells her it's either you're going in first. Like, you either last off the plane or first off the plane. And Julie was like, oh, definitely not last off the plane. But you could see in the photo, when she told, she just started laughing, like, smacked her forehead. Like, she didn't want to do that. Yeah. So, but then she wasn't supposed to go first. I came in, I was going to go first, but we didn't know the old guy. There was an older gentleman, probably, like, 60 years old, right? Mm -hmm. Or at least something like that. He jumped, he skydived for the oh, first yeah. time. It was his long-time bucket list. But he ended up coming. So he was in front of me, so I was probably going to be second or third. And then he wasn't buckled correctly, so Julie went first. So all I saw was her sit on the edge of the plane, disappear, vanish, vanish away. For real? Vanish away, You just yeah. saw her drop. Yeah, literally. So yeah, okay, so as we're flying up, my ears start hurting already because, I don't know, my ears are very sensitive. I don't it's know. It's just that pressure all the way up there. Yeah, yeah, but for a lot of other people, they didn't have that same feeling or mm -hmm. type of pain. Then the uh, other older gentleman flew off, and then it was my turn. Oh, so you went last. Third, there was more people behind. Oh, there's us. more people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn! So it's not like really like private. Like it's like, a lot of people in that one plane. Like, yeah, I think that makes me feel better though. Honestly, five people. I, did that make you feel better? That the, yeah. yeah. But did it make you like were you more comfortable with more people? Damn, like, Dewey's first. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell no. Yeah, and then okay, so um, I sat down on like the edge, and I don't really remember everything. Everything happened so fast. So I'm sitting down, like you look at the sky, like you look down the sky, you look down for a second, but then you keep your head up. That's what they tell you to do. You keep your head up and he just throws us off. Like yeah, he, he just jumps off, us off and you lose like when people say they don't know how to explain the feeling of doing it. It's so true. There's no way to explain it unless you do it. Like it's the most peaceful you'll ever be in life. You literally jump like as soon as you like as soon as he throws you off. You let go of everything. You become numb to everything. You don't feel nothing. You don't. You don't see nothing. You don't feel nothing. And it's the most like. You had your eyes open. As soon as, I mean. Yeah, you had, you had your, goggles. You had goggles. No, but you had your eyes closed when you jump off. No, I had my eyes open, for sure. But everything happened so fast. Yeah. But like I said, like as soon as you like as soon as you fall off and you're free falling, you lose every bit of feeling, every bit of sensation. Like you lose everything. You just become numb until they pull that parachute, mm -hmm. and then you like reality checks in, and then you just start seeing the ground. You start seeing people. Like I saw her and the other guy down below me. Obviously not too in depth, but then that's when you're like, oh shit! Like yeah, you were yeah. up there and you just free fall for at least thirty seconds down. So that shit was like thirty seconds, literally. At least we went eleven thousand feet. Yeah, so at least twenty to thirty thousand feet for sure. 
But yeah, yeah no, she, she, she agrees with me. Like it's the most blissful, like people say it's the most blissful moment in your life. You lose yeah. everything. Like you lose track of everything. Like it's the most peaceful. Like I recommend everyone to do it once in their lifetime. Cause you'll never feel like that until you do it, until you do it. So you don't get the feeling of like a roller coaster? How your stomach is- The second person asked me, wow. That's funny, I posted on my story for a four years, and Kiara, uh, mm. she messaged me asking if it felt like a roller coaster. Mm. No, it does not feel like a roller coaster at all, or a drop, it does not feel like that. You just get so numb that probably, that's why. When you fall down, you know that uneasy feeling when you go on a drop and you yeah. get that? You don't feel that at all. I didn't feel that at all. You just fall, like it's normal. You're going with gravity, but like, yeah. it's normal. That's weird. Yes, yes, it, it really is. It really, it really That's is. It's fucking weird, bro. But it's the one of the most, like, it's the best experience I've probably ever had in my life. I've never felt like that. You lose, like, you like you lose every feeling in the world. Like, you can't explain that. You're at, you're at bliss. You're at peace. You're peaceful. You lose everything. Do you have your arms out? Like, are you just like... Yeah, you have to keep your arms out. This girl, when she jumped off in the video, she, like, <laughs> jumped. But she, like... You're supposed to like put your legs back so like it floats like that. Yeah. But you can see when she like falls, her legs are like going forward. So she's like bending her legs forward and then they finally like go back as she's falling. This is much like strong wind. Like does it does, did it do that naturally or did you have to like actually move your legs? In no, the, she the actually had, I think she moved, no? I didn't feel, like you were the one that pointed it out. I didn't feel I was sitting back in my legs. No? It's probably it just, just how, how strong you're fucking going there. Yeah. No, but when she fell first, she just naturally like put her feet forward and then it pushed back to what it was. And you guys jump sideways, right? It's not like, it's not forward. Oh it? no, it's definitely. It's like, kind of like backwards. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like you're like falling sideways backwards and then you come to, like I would do it again and again, like a hundred percent. And we were thinking like these people have that feeling five times a day, eight, five times a week, jumping like that, like the trainers yeah, or whatever, yeah. or the skydiving experts. Holy shit. But yeah, the, we have both videos. I bought both videos and it's the funniest thing in the world. Like, so her video, basically, you can tell she was a lot more anxious after the parachute hit. Like you mm -hmm. can, as soon as, okay, so when she was free falling, her face is the funniest thing. Like if I could find somehow, put it on the video, I will. Mm -hmm. It's the funniest thing. Do you have it saved on your phone? Oh, you saved it to your computer? Oh, honestly, I might, okay. But yeah, it's the, you'll see it after. It's the yeah. funniest thing in the world. She's like falling down and then like, like the wind is, uh -huh. like obviously it's flabby skin. Yeah. My skin was fucking flabby, but yeah. hers was okay. But air, like she opened her mouth at one point. You open point. your mouth? <laughs> yeah, you open. I wanted to lick my lips. It was so cold. Like I literally uh -huh. wanted to lick my lips and I was like. <laughs> yeah, and then. Like, yeah, she did that, and then all you can see is the air filling all, like, the space. Uh -huh. And then, she, bro, she looked like a chipmunk or a squirrel. <laughs> like, it filled up right here. You know when you put grapes right here in the yeah, upper yeah, lip? That's yeah. exactly what it looked like. And, like, it just pushed back and put the upper lip, and she looked like a little chipmunk or a squirrel. Swearing everything. How did your video look? Uh, well, well, when she, uh. um, when they finally pulled the parachute. Yeah. And when you're falling, you don't even know when he's gonna pull a parachute. You're you're falling, like it's yeah, just, you're just falling. Yeah. You don't think of it. You like I said, you lose every feeling. Okay, when she like when they pull it, you can tell she was like in shock, like anxious, like she was like. Uh, does that shit like feel strong? Like no, yeah, definitely. Like it's as strong as like like let me just stop yeah, in midair. Yeah. 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 It's like a you stop in like midair for it feels yeah, like because yeah. you're going against the gravity then. But then you can see uh, like she starts breathing. She's like. Because she's like, she's like trying to catch her breath. She's like, uh -huh. yeah. So then that happened and then, yeah, I don't know. She was just, yeah, that happened. And you can just tell for the rest of the video, she was just trying to catch herself. And then she landed and then everything else happened. Honestly, yo, I'm about to just have her explain right here, her story. <laughs> Would you like to explain? Is that, a, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to come explain your side of the story? <laughs> okay. I mean, you can explain, like, you can just talk into the mic. Okay, no? All right, I'm offering. It's okay. But, what are you going to say? What was your video? So, yeah, I go down. I think he forgot to put my goggles on, so I reminded him. Because he was like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. And I put it on, but, like, as soon as I'm falling, the goggles are above my, like, eye. So, it's, like, pushing my eyes like this. So, yeah. when I'm looking down, my eyes are like this. Mm -hmm. So, I can barely see, but I also, I can still see at the same time. But then the goggles are literally on my forehead. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like it's literally on top of my forehead. Yeah. So then it's pushing down this and that, and then I'm going down. 
The air is very cold, by the way. Like, it's yeah. freezing. It's really freezing. And then the parachute comes, and then we finally land or whatever. He takes off my uh, goggles or glasses or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it's just chilling. Like, how do you guys land? Like, how's the process of landing? Oh, it's not bad. But I, I'll get to that. Like when. Sorry, you cut me off. To, I'm sorry. Keep on going. No, no, yeah, I'm saying. So like, she was saying in my video that I looked so happy. Like you can tell. Like I looked uh -huh. so happy compared to because she was like, <sighs> and I got out and then took my gun. I'm just smiling. And then at one point, the tripod's on his left arm, so we're looking at the camera. Mm -hmm. He tells me to look and smile. And he's just going in circles and circles and circles, but that's how you, you know, obviously get closer to the ground. Uh -huh. What the fuck is the word for that? He said it. Wow, first time you can't say something. Uh -huh. I'm joking. Yeah. She would call me stupid, that's why. Yeah, I ratted you out. <laughs> but yeah, no, we go in circles and that's how you get close. Like, you, it takes less time to get to the ground. And then, okay, so when you pull the strap, I think I'm, since I'm a bigger person, the, it's around my thighs and it was hurting my thighs because yeah. I'm like putting all that weight down mm -hmm. there So that was very painful and then going in circles and circles. I was like just pushing against the, the strap mm -hmm. So that was very painful and my ears I've like, I've never went that far with my ears before underwater or anything to feel that pain mm -hmm. I would have to keep swallowing just to hear it popping and popping and popping and then as we land she landed with the person uh, with her uh, person like standing up so like she landed perfect, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then when I landed, I like, like sat on my ass. I didn't like fucking yeah, fall down, but yeah. he told me like just pe pick your legs up and just like sit on your butt. That's yeah, it. sit on your butt. Yeah. And we landed, but when I landed, like I shit you not, I could not hear anything. I could not hear the airplane that was behind me. I would have to have her and the person in front of me like to speak. Like I would barely hear background noise. Like that's how uh, that's how I landed. I yeah. see him. Yeah, but yeah, that's how like I was. Deaf. And I was scared to blow it out here because I feel like it would just rip everything in my eardrum and I didn't want to feel that pain until the dude just said do it and I was like, okay. Yeah. But I was, and then that was after the Bad Bunny concert, so yeah. my ears were already fucked up. Holy shit, we have a Bad Bunny concert to speak about, bro. And that's, and that's, yeah, that's <laughs> why. But honestly, like I said, most wonderful experience in the world. I won't, would never trade it for anything like that. And yeah, I hope you feel the same way as well. I feel like you want to speak. Speak, what do you guys? What do you guys go again? Yeah. No, for yeah. sure. God damn, I can't even think about doing that. I think I would just have a heart attack. No, for sure. Yeah. Like it was, but like I said, you won't, you can't explain the feeling until you do it. Yeah, no. Like I'm telling you, you'll be at the most peaceful moment you've ever been in your life. Like you'll feel relaxed for those 30 seconds. I'm scared of me doing higher like elevation because of my ears, honestly. But one of the photographers that said it, right, she was saying it has to do something with your um, flow of oxygen in your body, whatever. Yeah, you can have like a congestive, like just yeah I can't breathe through my nose. So. Yeah, no, and she was saying it might have been an issue with that because some people with that issue, like mm -hmm. their ears hurt more. So, yeah. But on an airplane, does your ears hurt a lot when you, when you fly? When you no, but that's not like you got to realize when you're falling. What's you're higher, airplane or like when you skydive? Airplane. Yeah, right. Airplane. Yeah. But you got to realize, like, you're going down at a faster rate yeah, than you yeah, ever yeah. have. And then yeah. your ears have to adjust to it slowly. Mm -hmm. So, like, let's say scuba diving. I know all those people down there. You have to take minutes or, like, even an hour at one point to, to, what? to uh, like, keep yourself situated at that, that level. And then you can start going back up. Oh, really? So, you got to go, like, step by step. Damn, I don't know. Literally. Damn. But your eardrum can't burst falling down like that, how we did? That's, yeah, I figured, yeah. But I think yeah. under underwater levels are much more, it's a lot different compared. A lot more pressure, like you said, yeah. Were you guys, like, near a cloud, or is it just We went over a cloud. So I was like, oh, fuck, we're definitely, like, we're, we're higher than what we expected. So you went through a cloud then, basically? Yeah, we really did. You know, I talked to somebody at work. Uh, her name is She went with her boyfriend, too, skydiving. They jumped out of a cloud. Like, they were in a cloud on the plane, and they jumped through a cloud. That's crazy. Cause I was like, you know, I wanted to talk about my experience, and then she told me that her her boyfriend took her there. You know what they did? They ate an edible before going on. Oh no. So that experience, I'm gonna bleep out her name just for saying that, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, fuck my life. Okay, I'll do that. But yeah, like it was. She just told me that, and she said the trip was just even more different. Imagine falling through a cloud. You would think it's very heavy on you, right? Or no? 
How do you feel? I just know they're heavy, technically. They weigh tons, but... Imagine you try to go through and you just stay there. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> like it's a pillow? But she said it felt... <laughs> it yeah, I feel like probably cold, yeah. She okay? And my mom just sneezed. Oh, I thought she like yelled something. Mm -hmm. That's why. No, but she said that like you can feel feel it. Like she felt it. But I feel like that's very scary, jumping through a cloud the first time. But yeah. And I mean, as soon as you're out of the off. plane, the plane is a scary thing. Not not you jumping out. Yeah. 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 But yeah, bro, like I would like you have to do it once in your lifetime. But yeah. Fuck. I'm thinking about well, I'm not gonna say it now, but yeah. She told her dad and her dad wants to do it as well. Yeah? Yeah. You're for sure going? For, your mom too or not? Your brother would do it? What, what, what did he say? Why? Like he just, just think. My dad really likes roller coasters. So I feel like loves feeling adrenaline. I literally like that's the most adrenaline I've ever Yeah. Yeah, I think so much adrenaline, you become numb to everything. That's what I'm saying. I was yeah. like shaking because of the adrenaline. Oh, yeah. I was scared. Like I wasn't nervous. I was just like pumped. Like, yeah. Ready. Yeah, it was like that. And I was just, I was okay, honestly. My ears were just in pain when I landed. And then, she came to me right away when I landed, and then we recorded the video, but yeah. And then imagine that right after fucking listening to Bad Bunny for fucking two and a half hours. Oh my god, <laughs> I don't know how you wanted to go clubbing after, like, you're fucking crazy. My ears were, ex like, fucked up, like, I can't even... That's why you're probably your ears hurt, though, which that lady said about your nose. That's probably why. Because but then again, when you're in a concert like that, all you hear is bass, and, like, sure. loud, and yeah. your ears are just... I have sensitive eardrums, I guess. Do you feel like, or also, ears. you felt like that? Do you think it's because we we're, like, so close, probably, to the, to the... And hold on. Before you keep going, thanks to your brother for the couch as well. I forgot to do that because that helped out a lot. But go uh, ahead. I going to say that. Um, since we're closer, basically, to the, to the, to the um, fucking speakers. Yeah. Because we're higher. That is so true. you think if someone, like, right in front of him, yeah. barely, I guess, heard him, I guess, whatever the fuck it is, it would be... But yeah, that it was the most craziest experience in my life. I wish I listened to the other album. I would have enjoyed it more, because you know I was on Ultimo tour. My de, de Ultimo. That was the best album. Still the best album to me. When he Booker T right away. I fucking told you. I was like, yo, he has to come out to Booker T, because this is a song that is just gonna get the whole crowd going. Yeah. And it's just gonna just everything's gonna be straight after that. Uh, I like what I found so like I would take so many moments in the crowd like when he first came out on the truck Yeah Everybody's just yelling Everybody's just, just yelling. yelling like that just had me in awe like I was shocked to see like everything just to see that We're here for all this one at person. least 20,000 people are here to see one person. Yeah And he just standing like a robot looking around in he awe just, like yeah. just taking it all in soaking it all in I Really I should have fucking ordered a shark costume <laughs> I should have done that. I feel like it would have been better for me. I could have been the one doing that. But you, nah. You think he sings? He, he, he won't sing any more songs from that album. And in the, in the next, because he has a new album coming out already. Yeah, but, Ultimate but, Thor is going to be. By other than like, I feel like it's like very. His, yeah, I think his biggest good. songs are in that album. That's why. Definitely. I, like. I think he'll throw on Booker T. And then the other one that says. Hold on. Let me see which one it's called. I think he really likes La Noche. That, that one, yeah. Yeah. No, but I don't think he would play that one, honestly. It would have to be his big hits. Isn't it uh, Dakiti? Da da yeah, da that one would definitely da play, yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. How do you feel about it? That was... I've been to concerts, but I, I've never paid for one. I, I got the Mardi Gras one at Universal. That shit was the best thing of my life. Like, yeah. like imagine being closer. Yeah, closer. I know. I can imagine. But then again, like, I wouldn't spend that much. You wouldn't spend that much on a person? Well, Bad Bunny, I think I would. Yo, know, like, you guys got me addicted. Like, you don't understand. That's all I listen to. When we're trying to listen to Justin Bieber, I really yeah. can't. I don't want to because it yeah. sounds better, you know, Bad Bunny. But I think maybe I would. He's the number one artist. Literally the number one artist, bro. Yeah. You know he won a Grammy while he was performing? Right? He was on his phone, something like that. That's what he was looking at yeah. on his phone? Yeah, I saw a TikTok about it, yeah. Oh, really? You want a Grammy? Yeah. Yeah. 
And aren't you guys so jealous of the last day of the tour? Like the story she brought up yesterday, some girl from Miami, her hometown came to Orlando thinking Bad Bunny's in love with his hometown in yeah. a shark costume. Uh -huh. But he did the shark shit with the, all, he pulled all the shark uh, costume people. In Miami. The last day of the tour. And it started jumping with them. Yo, his last, like, he like performed till like 1230. For real? He, he performed like I think an hour extra. Like, but like, those tickets had to, we probably would have looked it up by that time. Those tickets were probably crazy expensive probably because that's being his his first one has to be crazy and then his last one has to be the craziest yeah no for sure for sure oh my god we're the first one if we go he's coming first to orlando mm -hmm. oh my god it's not that the prices weren't even that crazy either yeah they're not that crazy yeah, yeah. i think it all depends on location and timing as it goes by yeah. but no yeah i you saw bro the girl anna got glasses we literally, literally went to middle school with her. Literally, and like, bro, how, <laughs> there's twenty thousand people in the concert, let's say, and she, like, Julie was saying, like, like she was trying to figure out why did she point at her only, like, right. made sure that it was her. Like, yeah. it's so crazy. And I know you guys saw the TikTok video when he switched the glasses. Yeah, with, the, with the kid. Yeah. He, the kid. I mean, that he, the kid's smart though. That they, was. They, that's, that's I think they, those are off-white glasses too. Supposedly. Pro probably. His pink ones were fire, though. though the Bad Bunny yeah. ones. Those were fire. And, like, bro, it was so smooth, the, 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 the yeah, transaction. Like, they just switched, and that was it. I saw people that went to Orlando. Yo, first of all, all the people that we know went to Orlando the second day. I don't know why. Cheaper, I mean, cheap, it, cheaper it was cheaper. Ticket. Yeah, cheaper, cheaper tickets. Che yeah, cheaper yeah. tickets, but... Yeah. Um, that's how people from Orlando go to Miami that we knew. Like, they were in Miami. I was like, shit, like, you guys really go to Bad Bunny. Like, I would have loved to go to Bad Bunny twice, but... It's like the pockets don't like yeah. that bunny twice as much, <laughs> and it's That's like different. we didn't we didn't plan on it or nothing. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Because this one talked us into it on the way to Palm Beach, and we were just like, "Yep, let's just yeah, do it." Yeah, let's just go. And I actually liked our seats though. Compared, we were first row. I think anywhere I say I would want to be first row instead of, like I would. I told I told I told you, I told you. Like if we were closer, I feel like it wouldn't be the same experience if we're like let's say in the fifth row, compared to the first one. You know, I feel like I re I rather I would rather be in the first one how we were in the, in the top. How do you feel about that though? I think it's the same thing over and over. So you're still gonna be over that person, and because we were still tight with that, and it was like, I feel like it's the same situation. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I just I just like the feeling that we have no one in front of us, like no heads in front of yeah, us. Yeah, but then again, let's say you're closer, you still have you have a better view of him no matter what we had. Yeah. Like sure. no matter what. Yeah, so yeah. That's it. And she also brought up a good good point that like he didn't really make his thing accessible to the people at top. Like, you know, yeah, he had all those yeah, things. Yeah, the, 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 the screens, the screens yeah. were covering him. And like, point. I couldn't see him at so many points either. Yeah, some, at some but points you couldn't like, see like, imagine him. all the people on top. Like, you will not see shit. Yeah. And you know, what's funny is, too, you're literally, like, I don't know if there's a stupid comparison. Comparison. You're literally, a concert with him is, like, like it seems like you're at a club. Like, like, you're literally going to see someone, like, but it's, like, club music. Literally, you're going, like you're just gonna go play music at the club and dance, but you're seeing him perform instead. It's the same shit. I don't know if you guys took it into realization that we basically saw, like, Drake, but in Latin in the music. Latin, like, yeah, community. Yeah. He's number one. Like he. Yeah, he's different. Like no one's taking his pedestal. No, no, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You saw he was out clubbing after the Miami in the cowboy hat. He was clubbing. Yeah, he was clubbing. He had a whole yeah. mask. I think Anuel was there too. Probably they, were all there they showed up in their Bugattis. Once again. I wish. Oh fuck. The Ferraris. No, yeah, that that like week was so eventful. Like it was just or those two days, let's say. That's it. But yeah, I would also say Disney. Do you do you eat at Disney Springs? Like restaurants? I have before. Do you think it's worth it? Restaurants, restaurants, or spots like oh, the, restaurant, restaurants. Oh, like we're dining in. Yeah, I've I've honestly uh, ate like that like twice or once. Like it, yeah, it's we were, just overpriced food. Yeah, but I mean it's like it's like the same thing. We go to City Walk. Like I've ate at City Walk at the at that nice na next to Voodoo Donuts and NASCAR place. I've never tried. No, I never. I've ate at the Chocolate Factory uh, where where that shit's at. Yeah, yeah. I've ate. Yeah, just so yeah, we went for our anniversary to work. To, what was it? Who was it by? What was the restaurant? Julio? Haleo. Haleo. Haleo? What is that? I never. That's a Spanish restaurant. Yeah. And obviously we knew it was going to be a little bit pricier. So like, okay, so when you sit down, our waiter, he's a nice guy, but like, 
he starts off saying like, oh, this is a restaurant by like, we give you item meal by meal. Like you keep ordering, we just keep bringing it to you. Mm. And you know, it sucks because those restaurants, you pay more for less. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. You pay yeah, more, course, a lot yeah. more for less quantity. Uh -huh. Don't get me wrong. What we ordered, the, it was really good. Like the shrimp, the texture of it, the bread with it, delicious. But bro, we got like, we were like eating in like rations, like portions, bro. Yeah, we, yeah. We had like, I had like four shrimp. She had like two and a half. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And, bro, that alone is probably, like, $21. So, like, imagine. But it was amazing. Like, if you give oh. me a whole plate of that, it would, it would have been amazing. But, like, yeah, I would just wouldn't... I hate that. We literally had Taco Bell at night after. For real? We were still hungry. We were still hungry. Yeah, we came home and we were like... Bro, Can we just that, Taco you know what's Bell? crazy? That's how literally every rich person's eating. Like, when you, the, all these restaurants that are high-end restaurants... We go to Miami, hit even their doctor. bills are at least hundred dollars or more. Bro, they're a thousand dollars or more. Like, there's no. Bro, the family next to us, the white family, you're like, oh, you should order with them. Though they kept getting food and food and yeah. food. They were just ordering <laughs> that shit. They just kept getting more and more. Like, like fifteen minutes would pass, then you get the whole dish right there after. I'm just but it's like, like saying wow. like, is we go back to like filming like that steak, filming young. Yeah. That shit's this tiny. Why do you think? How do you get full? How do rich people get full? They order two of them, three of them. Yeah. That's the only way. What is it called? Um lobster tail that shit's expensive like all these like seafood all that shit is seafood in general is expensive though yeah i know but like um fuck um i was thinking about i don't know what i was gonna say never mind uh, yeah so it's just it's so expensive food like for mm. so tiny portions no yeah, yeah. okay so but like so, so what was the first one hispanic or like, yeah what, it was like, like a latin yeah. and it was so pretty the theme was pretty this and that but like you can already tell when she ordered she found something but i couldn't really find anything and I'm not picky mm -hmm. at all, but there was nothing that was like catching my eye. So was that shrimp shit appetizers? No, it was. No. That was a fucking meal, buddy. That was a meal. Oh, that was a meal, motherfucker. That was a meal. Wait, for, so who ordered that? You or me? Uh, oh, you? Yeah, yeah. I wanted some shrimp at uh -huh. least. She got grilled chicken. You can tell that shit was grilled chicken. Like that was grilled chicken. <laughs> but like the sauce on it was delicious. That's what made the chicken really good. Mm -hmm. But. Let's say for the same price, like you're, we're like rationalizing again, like we're saving like two bites each. <laughs> she got a chicken breast, I got a chicken breast and a half, like that was it. But yeah, like honest, but like if we had money, I'd probably eat at fancier places. Oh, okay, we do have the money, but we don't mm. want to waste it on that. Like I'd rather enjoy a meal, let's say, we can eat at Guy Fiari, the chicken spot, or like we can eat like a good meal, yeah. or the Miami place, that chicken sandwich spot that yeah. we had. But that's a good meal for the price. I don't like, that's it. Okay, but when we're ordering, the guy comes to, like, seat us. He's talking to us, explaining it with the menu, serving it. Like, oh, we keep coming, delivering more food. He's also saying, like, take a look at our cocktails. And, like, he's, like, emphasizing that we order a cocktail. Yeah. And I'm, like, like I, he walks in. I'm, like, Julie, like, like, do we, like, look like we're 30 or, like, 25 right now? We're about to order all this alcohol right now. It's yeah. so funny. But he, like, kept emphasizing it. And we're just, like, we don't really, like, want that. And he came and, like, so can I get you guys started off some cocktails? Or like, because he saw you guys two young people, he just fixed. Oh, that's that's what everybody's doing at, at City Walk. That's young and this well, yeah, 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 They're all course, just getting yeah. drunk and just going to eat. Yeah, so, of course. But it was just so funny because we're not used to that at all. Yeah, I feel you. So if that was the first time we're together and we're getting like he's implying every single time to like let us know like get a fucking cocktail or you're dying basically. That's <laughs> it. But yeah, no, we just didn't get it. We thought it was really funny because when he came back, he's like, "So can I get you started?" We're like, "Oh no." She wanted to get Mexican Coke, and I just stayed with water because that's what I wanted. Mexican Coke? You know, that's a real thing. But it's, different. it's different, but okay. It's different. It I know I know in, Mex in Mexico, they call it coca. What, cocaina, probably? Cocaine? No, they call it coca, though. Yeah. That's what Mexican... That's, that's how I found out in Cancun. Breaks? They call they call it they call it they call it, they call it, they call it coca because it's some, really? some, some, some of the waitresses were actually Mexicans that live in Cancun. That's cool. Yeah. But like... It tasted better. It tasted like, let's say we go to Tijuana Flats. Their Coke is really good. Or like you get a nice crisp Coke with a glass bottle with ice crushed the in it. The glass, glass bottles are the best drinks no, yeah, ever. Yeah, for sure. But like hers was the Mexican Coke. We get the receipt. And I check. <laughs> no, no, it's a cup like this. Like yeah. A tiny amount of Coke. Bottle of Coke. Five dollars. <laughs> and it was just a cup like this? It, was it wasn't really a cup. It I, was it was. I thought it was bigger than really. To me, it seemed bigger. But it, receipt bottle of Coke. You know damn well they probably got the glass one. They just yeah pour that shit in there. Yeah. 
Like I said, and it was no re- really... And there's no refills. There's no, no, there's no nothing. Fuck no, you're, tra- you're charging five a Coke bottle. Yeah. But yeah, and honestly, like, I would eat again, like... Like the shrimp was really good. I think that was our, probably our best thing with the gar- the bread and the sauce. Mm-hmm. Like the sauce itself was amazing yeah. from both dishes. But like I said, bro, we're paying more to eat less. Like we're gonna spend our whole paycheck on a dinner if we really wanted to eat comfortable. Yeah. Like, and I want a dessert too there. And we also ate a caramel apple. Have you ever ate those? Yeah. Things? That was my first time ever. Really? Yeah. She she ex- ex- expanded my childhood a little. Did you like it? It was okay. It wasn't the best thing, but. It, the taste it gave, it made you want to keep biting it. It's because it's sweet and yeah. sweet. Yeah. But it was a sour apple, so it didn't really go yeah. with it. It was a green apple. It's, they're always green apples. Yeah. They don't do it. Really? I don't think. I wanted, I wanted nuts on mine. Like, tiny nuts. I think it would have been better with the salt, sweet uh, thing. Because then we just got sweet, and then she dogged the thing down. Like, what? I had at least, let's say, eight bites, six bites. She finished the rest of the apple. <laughs> My bites weren't humongous. No, she killed the apple. Dang, so you guys get Taco Bell after fucking eating dinner? That's how small that shit was? No, yeah. Okay, so, like, when we, we walked around for, like, 30 minutes in Disney Springs, and we it's sitting there. Like, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. it filled up a little bit. But then we're like, we need to eat more than that, because that's literally, like, us eating, like, a bowl of, like, let's say... Let's a, keep in mind, it's the same day we went skydiving, so we had to eat. Like, we didn't really eat much. We prepared for dinner. Table, yeah. yeah, I got We you. prepared for dinner. We ate, like, a snack, but we ate Cheez-Its and grapes. Like, Was this planned? Was that place planned, or you guys just she went... Planned or it. you guys went to Disney Springs and just went... She planned it. Just, she planned it. Because I uh, planned for Valentine's Day. She uh-huh. planned for this. But then again, I was going to take her to Disney Springs for our Valentine's Day, but it was already booked because, you know, people got to book it. Mm-hmm. But then again, it's like, she found out now, and if we went on Valentine's Day, we would have found out even sooner. Like, yeah. That's, like, it didn't really matter. The only place I'd probably go to Disney Springs I would want to try is also the Rainforest Cafe. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. But I would also go on the. I want yeah. to plant plant in Hollywood. Plant in Hollywood. Which one's that one? The ball. The big circle. Oh, I didn't know that was a restaurant. I, I, a restaurant. I actually haven't been to that one. Me neither. That's yeah. the one behind the but Coke you guys, thing, right? That means you guys went into a fancy restaurant in Disney Springs. So I was talking about like City Walk. City Walk's restaurants are not fancy. Like you, yeah. There's is fancy was like Margarita Real over there and City yeah. Walk is expensive. But like yeah. I've been like they're rest, regular restaurants where I've been. But yeah, and I would I would like to do the one on the boat. Like that's a, that's a pretty view and this and that. Yeah. Like, I would do that. But you know damn well she doesn't like seafood. She'll take shrimp. Uh-huh. But you know, damn well, the meals, at least, seafood's already like $30. You're yeah, going to get a tough. piece yeah. of fucking fish, it's 30 bucks on your plate right there. Literally, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's it. But, yeah. Uh, I literally lost my thought. I was going to go somewhere. Don't know what I was going to say. I don't know either. Yeah. I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, we uh, went to Me as Italian Girl for Valentine's Day. And, like, it was not, it was probably, like, the same price point, but more quantity in food. Yeah, 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 that was delicious. Like I loved the food. I loved her pasta. I loved my food. We also had like a margarita pizza, bro. That was one of the. That was a nine out of ten pizza. That was delicious. Like I would, I recommend you going there just to get the. It was an appetizer pizza. Uh-huh. Go there to get that pizza. That shit is delicious. You said, did you tell me you've had Blaze pizza before? I've never had Blaze pizza. We've only yeah. had flippers, right? Blaze pizza is really good. You guys flippers, Mediterranean Sea, mm-hmm. Boston. Yes. And usually when we eat out, sorry to cut you off, when we eat out, she picks the good stuff. I always pick, pick the like the least flavorful uh-huh, stuff. Yeah. Like I would prefer hers always. But recently, ever since her birthday, for breakfast, when we ha- went to, what is it called? Briar Patch. Briar Patch for breakfast. She had like French toast with, what is it? Like and cheese. Like French toast and cheese and like berries. Mm-hmm. Like that sounds disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... That was delicious. Like, I Bro? killed her meal. I killed her meal. Yeah. We switched uh, trays because I, I wanted her to like, try something at least different. What did you get? I had two Benedict eggs. They were fucking delicious. Like, I would <laughs> go there again, 100%. Like, I, I almost contemplated going there for my, my dinner or breakfast, brunch. Oh, but we just didn't go. But yeah, but like I said, she's always, been, recently she's been picking the bad stuff. Like, my shrimp at that restaurant, the one we just went to, was better than her grilled chicken. That shit was just three breasts. For real? No, yeah, for real. Like, I feel like we shared one chicken breast. No, 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 gassed it. It was at least it was cut up into three at least. One thing cut up. Oh yeah, then yeah, yeah. It was like three t- slabs of chicken. I would feel like a f- motherfucker. Like I would be like, damn. Like that's why I was like, Julie. Like we're gonna have to eat, so let's just go to talk. We weren't gonna eat at one point. We're like, fuck it. And then we got off of John Young, and they were like, yeah, all right, let's just get Taco Bell right here. 
Yeah. And that quesadilla was delicious. <laughs> and, I got, and then you got the chalupa. But yeah, bro, it was, yeah. Damn. Finally glad we're here doing this. Jesus Christ. I have to yeah. pee. I had one thing to talk about that the lady who um, created the movement of Black Lives Matter usually um, they found out that she used all the money donations to buy a six million dollar mansion. She bought a six million dollar mansion. Yeah, with all the donations for the movement of Black Lives Matter. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, shit's fucked. Wow, you would think that money would go somewhere else. Yeah. A little bit. Wow, I did not know that. How'd you find that out? What the fuck? Um, you know, some sources on Instagram. Yeah. So. Is it like for real? Like real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? That source is like, the source The source that I saw it on is like, as soon as they post something, it's legit. Was it like TMZ or something? Or yeah. like the Hollywood Unlocked? Shade Room. Shade Room. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it's fucking fucked. I haven't heard, like, see, like Black Lives Matter was, I don't want to call it a like a movement. Like it was a movement for like a small period of time. Yeah. But it reminds me of how the war with Russia and Ukraine, like now no one speaks about it. No one's it. speaking about that shit. I don't know why. I was thinking that when I was showering today, like I have not heard one word of it and it's probably still hell there, but like, yeah. but then they cut off all like uh, they, videos, phones, everything from there, right? So we literally- They did? Yeah, I think the pre, uh, Putin literally, yeah. President Putin like cut off everything like social media like Instagram no one can see what's happening in Russia either yeah what the fuck they cut it off yeah they have the power to do it That's that like, means he cut off all the news outlets all that you know? oh yeah he cut off everything yeah. shit supposedly the what what do they call him the prime minister of Ukraine minister or like president whatever he fell asleep he woke up too late on his alarm and he almost died because of it they bombed that building but he got out, thankfully, but he almost killed himself by sleeping past his alarm. God, I saw that damn. by a source. They were looking for some people that were in the building as well, but like, bro, that's so sad. What well, also sucks, like you have a target on your back and you bring it to innocent people. Like stay far away as possible if you already have that that's true. target on your head, behind your back. What can you do if you don't even have your own protection? Like shit. Yeah, but like, you bring it to other people, and you should have more protection. You're the you're the head of the country. Yeah. End of the day, so yeah. I don't know. I think it was a wonderful episode. First time to break it in. Yeah. Clear the elephant in the room. We're finally here. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. <laughs> <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I yeah. hope you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. And Stay tuned for more. Because we are back. Finally, and we can't even drop the mic anymore. So that's it. <laughs> yeah, I just got to cram in my stomach. Oh, my God. Oh my we'll God. see you guys later. Peace.